Hi, I'm Pete Gerlach. <clears throat> I'm a professional therapist. I have specialized over the last 31 years in working with divorcing families, step families, and since 1986 I have begun a specialty in learning how to help people recover from childhood trauma, abuse, neglect, and abandonment. In the work I've done with many, many troubled couples in first marriages, second marriages, including stepfamily marriages, I've learned some important things I want to pass on to you if you are considering taking on a new partner slash mate slash spouse, whether or not you're a parent or they are. Quick background. Uh, in our country recently, most couples break up. Most biological couples break up either psychologically or legally, over 50%. Okay? Roughly, according to sociologists that I've studied, roughly 7 out of 10 such individuals who are widowed or divorced choose a new mate within roughly 7 years. Um, many such adults have children and they form a step family. Sociologists also suggest, based on pretty sketchy evidence, that second unions or third or fourth unions fail more often than first unions. If you are divorced and you're considering taking on a new uh, permanent partner, you are at risk of re-divorce against all your wisdom, all your intuition, and all your love. The odds are against you. Notice how that feels. What I want to do in this video is highlight what I've learned about how to protect yourself if you're choosing a new mate, especially if you're a parent. How to protect yourself from more strife, conflict, heartache, loss, and eventual re-divorce, splitting up again. You may not think that's likely, but it is. Here's why. 31 years of obsessing about step families and second marriages. By the way, I am divorced uh, twice, so I've lived it. I'm not just talking from some intellectual ivory tower. This happened to me, and it's happened to hundreds of the clients that I have worked with. What I recommend is there are five major reasons why many of us, despite our love and commitment and maturity as we approach or negotiate midlife, there are five major reasons why well-intentioned couples fail again. They are the, I bet you can't name them. Most people can't, I couldn't. Um, the reasons are these. First and foremost, many adults who divorce in the first place are psychologically wounded because they have survived major early childhood trauma. Secondly, they were not taught by their ancestors and or the school system some vital information about how to negotiate families and relationships. Specifically, they perhaps you, were never taught how our human personalities form and how do they function. They were never taught that personalities are composed of subcells, for instance. Uh, typical people who remarry or form a new partnership were never taught how to communicate and problem solve effectively. Were you? They were never taught about losses and bonding and healthy three-level grieving, so they are at risk of incomplete grief, which causes physiological and psychological problems. Such unaware people don't know this, and if they do, they don't know what to do about it. So they don't know about personalities, communication, grieving. Many remarrying people don't know how to make a healthy, holistically healthy, high nurturance relationship. They don't know how. They think they do, but they don't. 
They also don't know how to make and maintain a high nurturance, meaning functional, family. And if they have children or choose to conceive any, they also don't know how to parent effectively. Summing up, many people who ultimately break up again and again are psychologically wounded and they don't know it, and they're unaware of these six topics I just outlined, and they don't know it or what it means. This probably applies to you. Notice how you feel. If you want to succeed at having a highly satisfying, stable, long-lasting, second or third adult primary relationship, this is what I recommend that you do. You and your beloved, entrancing, exciting new partner. Learn about the invisible cycle of wounds and ignorance that gets passed down the generations. It's the heart of why people divorce and re-divorce with a great deal of strife. Um, here is a, a set of videos that will explain this cycle and what it means. So learn about that as background. Secondly, study these videos about what I call Lesson 1 in my nonprofit educational website at sfhelp.org. It will alert you to how young kids form psychological wounds, what these wounds mean, and most importantly, how you can identify if you are wounded, and if you are, how you can reduce these wounds. This is essential. Once you learn this, I recommend that you diagnose yourself and your entrancing new love for psychological wounds. It's likely you each have significant wounds. If you do, defer exchanging vows until you're solidly in the process of reducing your respective wounds. Okay? Uh, this is not an easy task. As you do that, correct your unawareness Learn what you never learned from your ancestors and your schools, your teachers, by studying lessons two through six or through seven if you are a parent. Turn unawareness into knowledge. My website provides all that you need to know. It's based on 31 years of professional research and experience. Study lessons two through six or seven if you're a parent. Discuss them together with your new mate. Talk about how they apply to you and any kids you may have and any ex-mates, um, your children's other parent, quote unquote. Um, if you are a divorced parent, I urge you, and if you have moderate to major hostility or stress or distrust or disrespect with your children's other parent, your ex-mate. Make it an intentional project to learn to understand where does this stress come from and how can you, ha you reduce or adapt to it. Um, see these videos. They will help you learn how to do this. If you're in a step family, Hostility and stress with an ex-mate is a major source that causes ultimate re-divorce. It also puts your kids in the middle of very difficult loyalty conflicts, which you don't want. If you're a divorcing parent who is considering a new mate, or if you already have committed, learn about step families, accept your step family identity learn what it means and teach what it means to your kids. You are at high risk of ultimate re-divorce. Your kids need help in understanding the over 60 differences between typical stepfamilies and typical intact biological families. They're both the same, they're both normal families, 
and they are very, very different in many ways. So, study Lesson 7 videos and articles in my nonprofit educational website. Become knowledgeable about step families in general and about your own. I've just given you five or six major suggestions if you are divorced or widowed and you're considering uh, a second new love. I suspect from long experience you will say, well, gee, that's interesting, fine, yeah, uh-huh. It doesn't apply to me or us. If you have a reaction like that, I interpret that as a veteran therapist as evidence you are controlled by a well-meaning false self. That implies you were wounded in your childhood and you don't know it. Red light. If you say, well, okay, maybe this is true, well, we'll get around to following these suggestions, quote, soon, unquote. Instead of having your new partner view this video, discuss it with you, and commit together to following these suggestions before you consider exchanging vows. Uh, another specific suggestion I would make as you do this is take a look at the two videos that I've provided. One is in lesson four about some danger signs about making a wrong choice, choosing the wrong person for the wrong reasons at the wrong time. If you have no parents, uh, no, no children, just view the video, the danger sign video in lesson four. If you have children, one or more, or if your new partner does, uh, review the extra courtship danger signs you'll find in the videos in lesson seven. Redivorce, or breaking up a second or third time, starts in courtship. If you do your homework, you will never have to experience that. I hope you'll go back. I've covered a lot of ground here very quickly. I hope you'll think about what you just experienced. I hope you'll go back and view and think about and discuss this video again and again. And then consider following the links that I'm providing you. Give yourself a long range view and do yourself a favor. Avoid splitting up again. If you're a parent, avoid adding to the heartache your children already feel. I wish you luck. Thanks for watching.